Hey everybody, if you've been wondering about the trend of HIT or high intensity interval training, then today's video will explain everything you need to know about the science of HIT and why a lot of people, including me, are getting really addicted to this kind of training. Hi, it's Dr. Lena. As it is in my nature to question things before I try them, I did some research which I would like to share with you. If HIIT training is totally new to you, or if you want to integrate more physical activity in your lifestyle, I think this video could be very useful for you. It is always very important to understand how things work, so you actually know why you are doing each exercise, and that will make the whole implementation in your daily life much easier. As there will be many HIIT routines on my channel, I want to explain to you a little bit why I'm really keen on HIIT training. But first of all, what is HIIT training? HIIT training is all about setting achievable short-term goals. We work hard for short bursts, then we get to rest for a certain amount of time and continue with another short burst of exercise. It's a very effective way of tricking our brains into allowing us to make the physical effort over the whole workout, but without feeling like we won't make it. Therefore, the high intensity of the training is possible over a sustained period. And in addition, because we vary the exercises and muscles which are working, we don't exert any area of the body. So, we work hard for short bursts, but without suffering too much. And over the whole workout, we build strength and resistance across whole areas of the body or even full body. So why do I love HIIT training? First, it never gets boring. There are so many variations. You can change the frequency the intensity or duration of the sets. You can also vary the style. So you can go running, swimming, cycling, do body weight exercises or whatever you feel like. As long as you can perform at high intensity for a short period of time and repeat this, it is considered hit. Secondly, I like that it is quick. In let's say 20 minutes, you can get a great workout. So the problem of lacking time for sports should not be a problem. Then you can train whenever and wherever you want you don't need much equipment or space. If you have a job which requires you to travel a lot, no problem. Even in a hotel room, you can fit in a quick hit training. Just set your alarm clock 30 minutes earlier and you can check your workout of the day. HIT significantly improves our aerobic and anaerobic system, which means that our muscles adapt in terms of an increased mitochondrial density, the powerhouse of our muscles growth. It also leads to increased capillary density to allow a greater blood flow to our muscles. An increased blood flow and circulation promotes cell growth and organ function. And not only of our muscles, but also of our brain. And that's why exercise helps to keep our mind sharp and focused. HIT leads to more cardiovascular adaptation, like an increased stroke volume and elevated maximal oxygen uptake. So basically, that we have more oxygen in our body to provide energy. A great effect of HIIT training is also that it helps to reduce body fat. There's a nice study in the Journal of Medicine and Science in, Sci in Sports and Exercise about the connection between HIIT and body composition. Abdominal fat, the visceral fat, which is the fat mass around the organs, and the subcutaneous fat, which is the fat under the skin, could be significantly be reduced by HIIT training in comparison to a no-exercise group and to a low-intensity training group especially for people with a predisposition for diabetes or people who are already diagnosed with diabetes, HIT can improve the glucose metabolism and the insulin sensitivity. Studies show that the insulin sensitivity can be improved between 23 and 58 percent. HIT can help you burn more fat even hours after you've finished your training. This is shown in studies about an excess post-exercise oxygen consumption or EPOC or maybe better known as the afterburn effect. But I will give you more information about the epoch in another video. All those adaptation processes will improve your training. You will see it will get easier and easier for you and as a result you are able to train harder and longer. If you are new to HIIT training, it hopes this has given you some additional motivation to give it a try. I don't think you will be disappointed. So what are we waiting for? Let's start moving. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.